The federal government has taxed the Standards Organization of Nigeria, SON, to remain committed to ensuring quality of all products and services in the country so that the nation's manufacturing sector would not be a pushover in the African Continental Free Trade Agreement scheme. Now, the Minister of Industry, Trade and Investment, Otumba Nia Dibaya, who announced this in Lagos, stated that the SON had vital role to play in facilitating trade and guaranteeing that excellence and quality standards is maintained in the face of the AFCFTA. Adebaya, who was represented by the permanent secretary of the ministry, Evelyn Ngige, lauded the SON for 50 remarkable years of valuable contribution to industrialization. At the national president of the Manufacturers Association of Nigeria, Men, Atumba Francis Mishoye, said the role SON plays in the nation's economy is very vital for the country's economic diversification drive. The Standards Organization of Nigeria has a vital role to play in facilitating trade and ensuring that local goods and services compete favorably in the international market by guaranteeing that excellence is maintained across all production lines in the country. This is even more important now that the Africa Continental Free Trade Area Agreement has opened up the domestic market to all commerce in the continent of Africa. Son must therefore speak to its role in maintaining standards to support industrial development, facilitate trade, and promote investments in the Nigerian economy. Son should remain committed to ensuring quality and continuous improvement of all that is produced locally and imported from elsewhere. Over the years, with the SON working, it has come to look at what should be your standard when you produce products. Uh, for instance, what should be uh, what, what do you look like? Uh, what does it mean to really achieve uh, to the consumer? So this is provided and SON has done so much work in providing these standards. Uh, the times during the standard term, uh, when they are really instituting what standard should be, the cost stakeholder meetings, they have explained, they do their research, and they have been in the laboratories and others, and eventually they come up with a standard that's acceptable all over the world. Meanwhile, the Director General of the Standards Organization of Nigeria, Malam Farouk Salim, has tasked captains of industry to invest system substantially in brand protection activities to safeguard their intellectual property against counterfeiters, copyright pirates, and producers of substandard product. The SON boss pledged that the standards body would also increase its level of campaigns and engagement with the public to fish out and prosecute peddlers of substandard goods in the nation. Manufacturers, our policies and programs only work very hard to make their products excellent and uh, sustainability. If you notice, most of our RDs have been working with Sun for 20, 30 years. So that shows you longevity and the practicality of what we are doing and how useful our advice and working with us is. But they should expect more transparency, more sensitization, more knowledge of what we do and what products are good and what products are bad more access to the organization, more access to um, information that is very useful to the community and useful to the industry. So generally, the public should expect cooperation, protection from the organization. The industry expect the same, cooperation, work with us, we protect the industry, we work hard to make sure our industries uh, and the products are acceptable everywhere around the world. how has your... Hello. Hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.